Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we are going to take a close look at the Aperture Deity microphone. This is a brand new shotgun microphone from Aperture, and I believe the idea was a lower cost option to the Sennheiser MKH416, which is a legendary microphone. You've heard it on TV shows, movies. I've worked with a lot of sound guys who use them. I've also edited a lot of projects that use them for sound. They're awesome. They're beastly microphones that can handle production abuse and they sound amazing. So this one is a significantly more affordable option though. So that microphone is a thousand dollars roughly. This guy is 360 bucks. For $360, you will receive a box and in it, you'll find a really nice case with the microphone itself, a foam windscreen and a cheap mic holder. There's also a kit option that costs 429 and it'll include all of those items as well as a Rycote pistol grip mount and a really, really nice dead cat. This is the softest one that uh, I've ever worked with. The first thing you're going to notice when you pull the microphone out is the weight and beastliness of this microphone. Um, when I pulled it out of the case, it actually rocked the case back and forth and uh, the case wouldn't stay level without the microphone in it. This is a heavy, heavy microphone and that is due to the solid brass uh, construction. So a lot of microphones, you know, have multiple areas where it's screwed together. And if you kind of try to do this at all, you'll feel things creak and it'll be gnarly. Whereas this guy, you could probably kill someone with it easily and uh, drive a nail into a board. It is a monster, monster microphone. The second thing you'll notice is there is nothing except for an XLR jack on this guy. So there are no switches, no buttons, no frills, no extra high pass, low pass filters, nothing. You just get a microphone. As for specs, this thing requires 24 or 48 volts to be operated, and that's phantom power, obviously. Um, and then we are looking at a super cardioid pickup pattern. And what's interesting here is that's what is in the spec sheet on Aperture's website, but there's a little pickup pattern icon on the microphone, and that looks more like a cardioid. So whatever we don't really know um, and we will a little bit later be doing you know a field test to see um, what it sounds like at different axes essentially rotating the microphone around to see how it picks up sound so what about the actual sound quality of this microphone well i've actually been using this for several videos i don't remember exactly how many but a while back i switched from using what i'm using right now the rode ntg4 to this guy and uh, some of you actually noticed and heard the difference so we're going to be comparing those two microphones and the reason i'm comparing them is they're similar in specs and similar in cost this microphone 360 bucks the rode ntg4 is 370 dollars now we do have to say that it has some extra features that this microphone does not have including a high pass and low pass filter as well as a negative 10 db attenuation switch i've been using that microphone since sometime in 2015, 2016, and it's a somewhat recent microphone, and it's been working really well for me, but I wanna see how it stacks up to this guy. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mount up the Deity, we're gonna to listen to that, then we're going to switch over back to the NTG4 and see what that sounds like. So right now we are listening to the Aperture Deity microphone just above me out of frame. Uh, in a second, we're going to compare it to the Rode NTG4. There's really no settings to explain right now because it just plugs in with 48 volts. That's it. I'm running it into my mix mic, which I either have a review already out for or I will have one out for it soon. I'm using that because my uh, juice link is acting up a little bit. So that is feeding 48 volts to the microphone. Um, we're gonna see how this Rode one compares when it comes to levels, if it's too low or, too, or higher than this one. Um, so at any rate, this has been the Aperture Deity microphone just out of frame, and let's see what the Rode sounds like. So I've taken down the Aperture, and now we have the Rode NTG4 in the exact same position with the exact same settings on my preamp. We're gonna listen for differences in uh, the quality as well as I'll show you and take a look at the audio levels to see if one of them is more sensitive than the other. To make things fair, I have no settings activated on this Rode microphone. Uh, it does have um, a 10 dB, negative 10 dB pad, as well as a high and low pass filters. All those are turned off to mimic uh, this guy right here. So it's just the microphone being fed 48 volts. 
So as you can tell, there's definitely a difference. Uh, I did notice that this microphone is a little more sensitive, the uh, Deity, and the Rode um, wasn't quite as sensitive, so it's gonna need a little extra boost with your preamp or recorder um, to get the level you want. Something else to keep in mind with this microphone is the size is a little different. First of all, it's longer than the Rode NTG4, but also it's uh, thinner or narrower. So depending on what gear you use, you might need to get a different mount system. As for final recommendations, I really do dig this thing. I've been using it for a while. I really do like it. It sounds great. I love knowing that if I drop it from here down to a solid concrete floor, it's going to be fine. Um, it's just a monster, monster microphone. And I think it's gonna be a great option for almost everyone. When it comes to which kit to go with, the base one is gonna work fine. You're going to definitely want at some point to move up to some kind of Ryko or suspension system. So if you go with the other kit, you're going to get that as well as that dead cat, which is gonna be awesome if you're outdoors shooting in windy environments. Otherwise, uh, I really like this microphone paired with the new Rode SMR mounts. So definitely check those out if you're looking for an awesome mount. Uh, it will work with big fat microphones as well as little skinny guys like this deity. So now we are going to mic this puppy up and I'm going to rotate the microphone and see off axis and on axis what this thing sounds like and how it picks up sound from different angles. All right, so I have the microphone on the right coat mount and we are now going to see um, how the Polaroid pickup pattern works on this microphone. I'm going to be spinning it around, playing a 1K tone on my iPhone and uh, see where the dead spots are and kind of where rejection is, where it's picking up sound from it should be a lot from the front a little bit from the sides and maybe a little bit from the rear depending on what actually is going down we don't know because on top of the microphone it tells us cardioid on the spec sheet it says super cardioid so here we go gonna crank this up one one k tone so straight on 45 90 degrees directly behind the microphone starting directly behind the microphone and back around 90 45 and straight on so pretty interesting um, depending on what my computer tells me in post I think it sounded like there's a little more um, on the rear of the microphone compared to on the 90 so let's do that again with just my voice straight on with the microphone, 45 degrees with the microphone, 90 degrees with the microphone. That's that's dead right there at 90. 90, and we're working our way back, working our way back, and I'm right behind, definitely uh, picking up a little more. So that would suggest that we're looking at a super cardioid, meaning it will pick up a little bit of sound behind the microphone on that tail back there. So. Just something to keep in mind if you're going to use this, don't put a bunch of noisy stuff right behind the microphone and um, you should be pretty dead at 90. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment below. As always, there's more videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.